Ah, Denmark. A place with dance, cove and Carlsberry and people who speak like this. So the first thing we did was going to Nyhavn, which is a famous port in Denmark. This port was built by Swedish prisoners of war in the 1670s. And at this place you can see things like Jesus, this cool door and scuba man. Then after walking around there for a little bit we had some fika. I drank some of that Faxe Kondi. <laughs> then it was boat time. First we went past this Minecraft looking house. Then it was this incineration plant that they remade to a ski resort. And in this house, this is where the Danish resistance were after they were taken over by Germany in six hours. And this cool church with a spiral staircase tower. Oh my god, I was wrong. This is the real Minecraft house. And here we're going past the old remnants of the Christian Boris Castle built in 1745. And here you can see the old stock exchange of Köpenhamn, where you can see the spear symbolizing the free Kalmar Union countries of Sweden, Norway and Denmark. Then after the boat ride, we went to Angvetov, where they had this very interesting looking pipe that looks like a dragon. Pretty cool, I guess. Anyway, after that it was pizza time. Pizza time. Then after that we went to this ginormous church. And then I was confused about these bike holes. Anyway, it's the next day, and this church is not a church anymore, it's an art gallery. But so let's go to a real church. This is Helia Gongskriken. It's a church that was built in the 1400s, but it was reconstructed in the 1730s. Then we had some more fika with that Faxekondi. <laughs> now it's time for the big church, the Frederiks Kirke, also known as the Marble Church. The construction of this church started in 1749, but was halted in 1754 because of one of the architectures died. <laughs> then in 1770. They lost all the plans for the church, which let it stand as a ruin for 140 years until they finally finished it in 1894. And then it was time to go back home. 